Hello and welcome back. In the last video, we built a basic version of Homepage by implementing and composing various components. We wrote the banner component, main view component, header, as well as article list. By doing so, you learned a lot of things. You learned how to define components in Reagent. And the component that we have been seeing so far is called type 1. In fact, in Reagent, there are three types of components which we will cover in throughout the course. You learned that type 1 reagent components are simply closure script functions, and these functions accept arguments and returns hiccup. Hiccup is simply vectors. You also learned about composition, aka how to build small and simple components and we can and put it together to create something that is complex and sophisticated. So let's quickly go and see all the changes that we have made in the last video. Type git status and hit enter. And as you can see, we only have one file, and uh, that is core.cljs, and uh, that's the reason, that's the file that we have changed. And uh, don't worry, uh, this is on purpose. It just makes it easier to teach the fundamental concepts this way. Uh, we will refactor this page uh, as, as this gets too complicated. Uh, uh, so yeah. Next, let's look at another function that provided by GIF provided by git. Uh, this function is called diff. Uh, the diff function allows us to see the actual content of the changes that we have made. So if we type git diff, as you can see, we have added mock articles, home page, main view. And if you look at the app component, now it is composed of header and home page rather than displaying hello world. All right. Now it is time to move to branch number three. Let's commit all the changes. Uh, you can type Q to get back to the terminal. Let's commit all the changes that we have with a message saying added header and home page. Now on the React side, let's stash all the changes that we have made so far and check out branch number three. Now let's go to the React code and see all the changes that this PR brings. As you can see, a few things have changed. The article list component has been updated. Instead of showing the only the title, now we have a new component called article preview. Let's expand the browser and see how it looks in larger resolution. And we see a list of articles, which is coming from the API. The article preview is a functional component. It displays the following information. As you can clearly see on the UI, uh, we see the um, image of the user, the username, the created date, the green like button, as well as the title of the article. Now let's go to agent.js and see how this article is being fetched from the API. First, it looks like we have new dependencies uh, called superagent and superagent promise. Superagent is a client side HTTP request library that allows us to make HTTP requests. And SuperAgent Promise is a promise library for, for SuperAgent. Uh, I don't think this part is required now. Like, for example, if you are building this in React, because when this code was implemented uh, a while ago, I think, uh, Promise was not supported by most browsers. So you don't really need SuperAgent Promise, but just to let you know. Next, we, we create an HTTP client instance and call it SuperAgent. On line 8, we have the API URL. And next we have the response body function that extracts and returns the body object. And it is used below in the request uh, requests object. Now this request object has a single method called get. And this method accepts a single parameter called the URL. And in the body, we have the super agent, the HTTP client instance, and it is making a get request and um, we are passing the concatenated string of API root and that URL. And then this function returns a promise. Hence, you see the then operator. And this then operator, uh, ha and this then operator accepts a, a function. And in this example, we are passing the response body. And finally, we have an article object. 
uh, and by the way this is the only thing imported from this file and uh, it has one method called all and in this example we are calling to get um, we are calling the get method uh, from request and passing um, articles uh, this is and we are passing this we are passing the string called article limit of 10 this is basically saying fetch me 10 articles um, let's try a different number so if you say 20 it'll give us 20 if you say 2 it'll give us 2 so this is a way of pagination you get the idea right so let's open the developer tool and see what's happening in the network tab so let's get a clear picture of what is happening uh, if you go to the network and reload the pages uh, we can we can observe the API request so to do that uh, go to XHR. Uh, the XHR stands for XML HTTP request. As you can see, the header, you can see the URL, and you also see the collection of article that it returns. As you can see, the status is 200, which means the request is a success. Now let's see uh, where this code is exactly being being run on. Okay, so we are at the home page right now, and if you look inside the this component, we have a new method called component did mount. Now, component did mount is one of the lifecycle methods, and this function gets this method gets runs only once when the component first mounts. So, uh, which makes it ideal for for fetching uh, for making API requests. That's why we have. A function on load function that makes an API request and if the response is successful we get back list of articles and we display it on the UI so here's the list of things that we are going to learn in and implement in this uh, tutorial in this episode we will learn how to make HTTP requests in closure script we will implement the articles preview component that displays the preview of the article on home page and we will also modify the articles page and we will also see how to uh, make the request and fetch the articles from the component itself so let's get started so before we get started with the coding part let's take a quick break and I'll see you on the next video <laughs> 